Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to do a Tlia mid guide on Flex on Europe West because I didn't get mid on Europe Nordic and East and I have a limited time so I'm a cunt and I dodged the game so sorry for that, for that team select. <laughs> anyway, we're going to play today Tlia mid with Ignite and Flash against the Xerath with Barrier and Arcane Combat and the Shaco and an Ignite Trindamer, oh boy that comp. This is the classic, classic comp with, with, this is not a team oriented comp, this is a, I wanna win lane, I wanna win jungle, I wanna win bot, sort of scale bot actually, cause it's real. But yeah, we're going to play Tlia mid and I'm going to play with Electrocute, Chip Shot, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Presence of Mind, Cup Grace and these room stats, alternatively you probably could start with Corrupting Potion and maybe change this too, but I believe this is the best right now for the teamfight capabilities. I'm going for boots eventually, and then I'm starting my pass towards GLP. Into orb, I don't think we need to go for more Nomicon, maybe Rabadons, we're gonna try maybe secondary Rabadons. And I'm gonna get a refillable if this guy is annoying. And let me see if I have like now 60 ms, it's fine. And so we're going to play, as I said, Lia mid, we're going to have to dodge some Qs, we're going to push the wave a bit in some points and at a certain point we might even try the full combo on him but we gotta be careful because his range is bigger than ours but anyway Talia in general in matchups on mid she works pretty good against artillery such as Ziggs and Valkos because they generally don't have kill potential and we dodge that and they, they because they don't have kill potential Talia really likes that they just can push you out of the lane if you don't dodge well enough but you can outroam them most of the time, so against artillery work, she works. I believe she works against the Warden Soul and Twisted Fate, which are other roamers. Maybe even against Pantheon if you're careful with the W and you don't miss it into his flash. But still, he should probably cast W on me now. Yep. Uh, I was almost scripting there. Alright, let's get that, let's get this, and I have one CS advantage. And this guy is annoying. Now we could expect Shaco to come, but if he comes at this way and follows, we can actually push him into the tower. Oh my god. Okay, I dodged, I dodged that. And we're gonna do a full Q towards this. We might even try a full combo soon. And yep, let me not miss the cannon. If he comes close enough for a W, I could predict him back. Okay, I'm coming. Oops, actually, I think I got him here, he has barrier, he can even use it, I don't care, and Shaco is low HP enough, uh, it's, I'm healthy enough to actually escape a Shaco gang, but I'm backing off a bit, because I really want to have my W combo ready, so even though I missed that 2 CS, normally people would have pushed there maybe, and missed their, used their W and have it on cooldown, and that would have been bad, because then Shaco could have easily, easily jump on me. So if he was around, yeah, no, no, he, yeah, Momo is fine here. I think I'm Momo actually. Okay, man, I'm wasting time here following. Okay, 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 okay. okay. We're following. We're following. We're no longer following. I should have followed. I thought Zerat was closer, and I would have, uh, I would have been in more danger. But I suppose no. I wanted that minion. Ah! I'm idiot. I'm an idiot. I wanted to eat that. Man, Zerat is missing. Okay. So we're not gonna get pushed out of the lane because we had to help Amumu for some reason. Should have not, honestly. And. I'm gonna ping for him to actually come now to gank, cause if he ganks now we might even get a simple... Nah, he's actually... I'm just gonna back off here. I have enough money for a, a lost chapter and I'm far away from the wave to actually be safe. But I could have got the kill on Shaco there, I wasted time honestly with that. I actually thought he initially jumped here and then he would have followed. But yeah, let's continue the discussion on the matchups because I really enjoy that. And also, I'm on my way to get the most kills in this game. I really want to be first. So, 
About the matchups, as I said, they're against Romers, against Artillery, you generally are not that bad, actually. Against Assassins, Leah struggles heavily. Against some mid mages, if you're not careful, it's actually a skill battle. But at 6, they start to be stronger than you most of the time because they do have ultimates with damage and you don't. Also, at this point, if I had GLP, I would have just jumped on him. And I could have bought here, actually, I could have bought a refillable. And I'm gonna cast Q here. Whoa, that was so fast. I'm tilting. Okay, we have an exhaust on Shaco. And. We actually come here and we're going to help them. He's actually gonna jump away. I don't care if he's there. Okay, we got him. I really wanted to get that. And now we're gonna push here. I got the flash of the Senna, we still got the Shaco. It would have been pretty impossible for him to escape there. And now we're gonna get this plant. You should back off, man. Should just back off. All right, I'm going back to mid now. I done. I've done a gank there. We got the Shaco. We also got a simple gank on the Senna, and we can actually hit. Why aren't you? Yeah, uh, yikes! Should have not casted out on bot. Uh, I'm so playing. <laughs> That was horrendous. That was horrendous. Why did I ignite there if I knew I couldn't reach it? Now, normally I would use again my W as I said. Just gonna cast the E and the Q. Because if Shaco jumps, I wanna escape as, I, as again. But man, I played that one so bad. Alright, we need to have a check onto the Drake. And we are making Zerat lose some CS here. But we're gonna go for Boots and a Vision Word. And again, a potion already, that's a mistake. Too many potions, man. Should have gone for refillable. But as you can see, Xerath lost a lot of CS here and he keeps losing CS. And I also roamed and I could have probably killed him there. But again, no boots and the fact that I severely misplayed. He has two vision words, even though he has a vision word here. And we don't care about the vision word. We really don't care about that vision word there. Touch that. Auto attack this, small Q that, and then got, got this one. I'm gonna put a word here, okay. I think I'm gonna do a full combo onto the back line. Alright. And now I have to dodge the Q. Alright, get the full wave. And then go towards Drake. Uh, do we see Shaco there? Okay. Then go towards Drake because we want to be sure that Shaco does not solo it. Alright, and if he does, I need to be here. <coughs> Alright. Alrighty. We actually get the free kill on Shaco if we're careful. Oh, come on, man! Okay. I think we win this. I think we win this. Okay. Okay. Q. Do you get double killed? Okay, you had ult. Never mind. Never mind. Come on, catch her. Why is she so fast? Why is she so fast? Okay. So we got three kills on Jinx because of that. On top, they also won. Apparently, I'm not going to be the first in kills. But we did the good fight there because of how we played. We got the Xerat there before they could do anything and then Jinx just scaled. So it's fine. And we could go for a free Drake now, but first I have to push this, maybe get a free plate out of it. And then we're gonna think about hitting the combo on Xerat again. Okay, and I'm gonna do the combo here. Wow, that didn't hit me, okay. We see Shake on top, which means we might get some auto attacks on this tower. Not too many though, and I'm gonna get poked here. Alright, he got killed, and we could actually roam bot here again. And not yet though. Okay, maybe we get the Senna. Or the Xerath. He has flash now, most likely. If I recall correctly, he didn't use it. Okay, dodge that. Just dodge, 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 dodge. That's what you gotta do against him. Full Q onto this. And then we wait. Oh no. I really thought that he hit it. Jesus, I'm inting. 
But yeah, cannons, cannons, losing cannons is my passion, as you can see. And this is a free gang bot here. Come on, come on, come on! Where is he? Okay. Can you hit him? Okay, ignore that. Okay. So we got that. We could get some plates, but I have to return to mid. That was another gang bot. That was a bad W onto Senna, but I really expected I really expected that moment to, to jump on Senna, not on Ezreal, because you could have got there some stuff. Also, you have to be careful here. They are just gonna they are just gonna go top and gank him and profit out of that. Also, gonna get this. I need to go top because they are about to dive. I need to help this guy out. I mean, most likely they are about to dive him, right? Okay, I'm gonna put the vision over there. Okay, okay, come, 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 come. He used the. Okay, he didn't even. <laughs> didn't even cast ult. Uh, he should have died there because of that flash, but he was knocked up by the Malphite, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure what would have happened there. Alright, so we can go for Sork Shoes, we can go for a Vision Word. Should have gone for a Potion as well, but it's fine, he got the cannon. And we are 3 kills now, we are first in kills, we will not miss any more cannons, because I'm tilting if I miss any more cannons. And at this point we could actually ult on top of Xerath, and then get a full combo on him, if you so desire. Okay, get that, 2 Qs, and now we go towards the river. We put a vision word somewhere around here. And now we just wait. Shaco didn't bother much to come mid. I enjoyed that roughly. I could slow him down if it was for that. And let's just just do this. He's not ahead, so we're not really getting soloed. But I could just get the plate here. Okay, we see Xerath, his ulting bot. I got the plate to counter that a bit. And we need to go there now to actually defend that. And he will... Come on, go. We're not seeing Zerat mid, though. Man, I need you. Uh. Okay. I guess... I guess at least we saved the tower. But that's not cool. I'm almost should have engaged, to be honest, we could have done so much more there. Yeah, never mind. I could ult. I could ult in, but what would be the point of that? Because I don't have GLP, I don't have flash yet. We could ult on mid, though. That would be a good ult. Okay, got him. And I'm first in kills. I really enjoy that. I should have I should pass kills to Jinx. But that was a pretty good pretty good engage. Didn't have GLP. He flashed too fast though. I believe he flashed too fast. Because I don't think my wall would have caught caught him. But yeah, let's stop missing CS. Let's push this wave. Alright, we are having six CS disadvantage, but because of how we played Because we have we played, we actually do pretty fine. And I really like the fact that we have a Malphite on top compared to other champions that would have hinted. Also, going here for an Nidus large rod, I will go for boots after that. Man, free Drake, free Drake. Just, just leave, let the tower be. Free Drake. Two Drakes is better than first tower at this point. Actually, four Drakes is the best. Whoa, that Jinx damage is insane. Okay, they actually played pretty nice. Pretty nice there. Okay, so we can go towards this side, and we could hit a full combo. Xerath doesn't even bother. Alright, so we got another kill here, because he apparently ints, and I am ahead of Jinx. I'm winning lane harder than Jinx does, I really like that. Alright, and let's...
let's get shots on this tower. We know that their mid laner is dead. If Shaco comes, we're just gonna W eco combo. He has to properly ultimate my W to actually deny it. It's very hard to actually deny it if you aren't an experienced Shaco, and I don't expect this guy to be one. And now that I use it, I'm just gonna flash out if he comes. I still can escape easily. I don't mind. And I'm not gonna miss this cannon. Oh! The cast time! So, does anyone count the cannons that I miss? Because it's like five in a row now. You see, I'm not, I'm not proud of that. I'm really not proud of that. Could probably... No, 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 no. No, don't, don't, don't. Just, just, just chill. Let me, let me, let me, just let me catch someone. We are so well prepared here. Come on! I did a very good. Ah! If you die, okay. If you die, it would have been bad. But I guess we can get tower here. Going back to mid. We got the flash on the Senna. We got the first tower, most likely. And we can actually try that again. And yeah, we could actually again. I jumped straight into that. Okay, it's fine now. Lost the tower, but that's understandable. Okay, let's play the dodging game. Does he even hit something or... Okay. Got that. I think I'm gonna go for his rights as well. I think Jinx wants it too, but I really want it. Just don't steal my rights, please. Thank you. Uh, I could just go both at this point. I'm just gonna cast this and back off. And then we move towards that. Don't, just, just don't you force it, just don't. All right, so the next thing we do is get these Sorg Shoes and go bot. Because when you generally have the bot tower gone, you should swap with your laners. Why, why did Janna die here? Okay, that's odd. Malfi didn't even out. Three number flash, okay, got it. Now, generally when you swap with your bot lane, it, it, that happens. <clears throat> when you actually end the tower on bot That's when the lane phase is generally over and nowadays Bot goes mid and mid goes bot generally top tower is still up that depends on how hard the lane is stomped But we could just take this I guess and We need to be first in kills again as, as I spoke. I want to be first and I suppose Jinx is about to get shake out That's a word that's a big word. I'm gonna put here a vision word. I'm gonna put here a standard word. And now we're gonna play the wait game. I have ult. I have ult and is is Trindamer even dealing damage? Now if Ezreal disappears here, he could most likely come towards this way. And so we could get him. Okay. We we get him. Okay. Uh, I could flash. I didn't want to flash, but I mispositioned with the ult. And another cannon. How many cannons is that? Still, first thing kills. Watch that. First thing kills. And I'm backing off because I don't want to give a 6 1 shot down to Shaco, which might be somewhere around here if he's careful. I do want to get some CS, so I'm gonna go into the jungle here. I'm gonna get this little beautiful thingy. Alright. And there were a couple of misplays in this video, which I urge you to not do. I like to self-analyze this kind of stuff, and normally I, uh, normally in ranks in solo queue, I don't miss this many CS. It's first game of the day. Probably the good idea to not do what I do is to practice some CSing in a normal game or in a in a practice tool before the game. Back off! I'm not there. Uh, don't. And besides that, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for two vision words here. Besides that, you could probably uh, get away with uh, some practice tool, and then you can jump in a rank. But besides that, uh, the mistakes that I do is missing cannons, is mispositioning. Sometimes the only death that I had was because of misposition. Technically, it was worth it because Jinx got a triple kill. 
and besides that going too far with the old missing w's these are the general mistakes that i do and that's why i play with glp to try to stop some of them I'm gonna put a vision word here gonna move towards this zone because uh, we actually know we actually don't know jack shit it was worth it because we had a vision word there i think it was cleared and we move here okay and you can just smite okay we <laughs> They threw so much shit. They threw so much shit at us. Oh my god. Actually, this is fine. Oops. Okay, we got the flash. It was a yikes because I knew he couldn't. I couldn't get that. But as you can see, I'm not getting out of ulting after him. I could have, but I'm not greeting out on stupid things like that because we would have gave a huge, huge bounty towards that as really 500 gold bounty or towards Shaco or towards anyone else that could scale and kill could kill us. I am actually interested. Ezreal might come. She has a word there. I could go for a, another vision word. As you can see how I'm using vision words here to create. I'm not going to miss this one. Okay. Generally, you can use the small Q. Okay. Maybe almost missed it generally you can use the small Q to get it and to be sure that you're not gonna miss and that would be a good way to be careful about this stuff and as you can see I'm hugging this lane I can one shot someone if he comes and I go for Rabados now and what I'm buying what let me guess let you should guess what I'm buying next two vision words why because again at this point we have Rabados we're very fed we have GLP and we can move towards these zones and try to get some uh, one shot some suspecting target on unsuspecting targets obviously and we see Shaco on mid you, you have alt you alt alt come on And now we can actually. Yep. I don't think I'm gonna. Oh, I got you. All right. Are we first at? Are we first at kills? Yes, still we are. And now we can use the. Oh boy, that's a problem. We can use the vision word in places like this. If you alt, we could do. We could technically one shot someone. Uh. Uh. Yes, so that's how you one shot. Normally, Trindamer should have expected that damage. Oh boy, they went in. Oh boy, we're running down. There is a Shaco though, and I think this is the second kill of the game for for my second death. If Shaco is here, doesn't look like it though. So I'm just gonna wait here. I'm gonna try to help him there. Come on, you escaped! You escaped! You escaped! Back! 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 You escaped! You escaped! Alt, Jana, Alt, Jana, Alt. Okay, nine one. Whew, that was stressful. Shaco should have caught me there. That would have been the optimal outcome. And I think we won the game here. But you can see my thought process. You can see the mistakes that I generally make. And yeah, I'm not afraid of that guy anymore. Uh, okay. And he will probably chase me down for ages to come. How about stay there? <laughs> he was so locked there. <laughs> oh no. Uh, okay. Uh, what? Ah! I'm still alive. Heals. I'm not dead. <laughs> Not even close, baby. Send out to my head. Maybe. Maybe. No. Nah. So, at this point, we have to go for Zonias, most likely, because there is a huge, huge uh, Trindamer on top of my head every time. And also, we can go for this, because the game is going to be over pretty soon. And this is five minutes or so, if I recall correctly. Three minutes, sorry. I think I'm, I think I'm remembering the old version. I think it was five minutes at some point. But we can go for Drake now, we can go for Baron, and 3 minutes is more than enough to get both of these. So we get this because there is no other gold option to uh, to get at the end game, And we want to be 
we want to be the strongest for Baron, right? I could actually solo Trindamer here because I'm very strong. But if he is actually good, he could outplay me, honestly. I don't have flash, but I suspect that he will not be ready to... Uh, never mind. Never mind. Okay, okay. He does not expect me to actually one-shot him here, most likely. Okay, cast salt to repel him, back off, and maybe, 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 yes! <laughs> that was very risky though, don't do that. I'm not sure how he auto... How did, how did, was he the first one? Where is Amomo? I'm healing up now. We, we should have definitely, we should have definitely... Uh, lost that one so don't do what i just did this is just flexing right now this is so bad behavior from me by going for the trindamer there you have seen it i had no flash i had no reason to go the only way i would have beat him certainly after that full combo is if i had flash and i didn't i didn't have flash and that would have cost me a 700 gold bounty onto the onto the guy and that was mostly luck and this is stupid what we do because shaco could have could have just as well jump on us. We could go Baron now. It's, it's free. And we could repel him. He's also going AP. So yeah, you can see this logistics. I'm not in Grandmaster right now. So I, I am limit testing stuff. I am enjoying it. But if you're playing in ranked, I already made the list for you. Don't miss cannons. Don't miss that many minions. Practice tool that. Practice tool those minions. Don't... Um, don't go too far with your ult and waste a flash for it as I did. After that, don't... Uh, don't fight the bloody bruiser alone especially since he's not that low uh, he's he's actually the most fed person in their team you have to notice that you have to be aware of that and i was aware of that but then again limit testing and i outplayed him it was cool looking and yeah but it was totally not worth it this is thing these are things that i'm not doing in a ranked game because if you do these things in a ranked game like against the grandmaster trindamer you give him 700 gold that actually loses the game because he will use that gold to actually be i'm gonna predict here he, ah he didn't even bother to hold so much cc all right <laughs> winnable <laughs> shaco wrote winnable he went to ap though he's not shaco ap is not that strong compared to ad but shaco i don't think what <laughs> I mean, yeah, the game is over. 14-1, though, I think I won the self-imposed challenge of getting first on kills. But you can see, even with all of this, you can see all the mistakes that I do right here. Sometimes, sometimes I do these kind of mistakes in solo queue and it costs games. And that's a thing that you should not do. And I really like to talk about this kind of stuff. So we discussed runes, builds, micro, macro, matchups. We discussed a lot of stuff in the span of some seconds of this game. And, oops. Uh, Alright, and him. Oops. Shaco in the middle of us. He actually got the jinx. And, oops. <laughs> missed that. Okay. Removed Trindamer from the equation there. And we're backing off because we don't have minions. Okay, we do have minions. I would jump with ult in, but I don't have GLP. And that could cost me. See, I'm dodging spells. I'm dodging CC. I'm dodging as much as I can. And then I'm trying to hit the full combo on the Xerath. We got the Xerath. Full Q then. Play like this. We can do a full combo. We have the, we have the ability to do so. And we just wait now, we heal up from these minions. And we could just slow now. Ah, could have predicted that better though. And now we're backing off. Dodge that ult, kind of badly troll. And at end the game now, because there will come and we will have issues with the Trinda Mare, because we're just three. So this is the general Talia meet guide. I really hope you enjoyed it, guys. And... Uh, I think this is all I know summed up in a small video, not quite everything, but most mistakes that Talia players do besides missing Ws are in this clip, and missing Ws was another another mistake, so recap, quick recap, missing CS, practice tool it, 
missing Ws, missing Ws even with GLP. You can even practice to that, but you have to focus better on that one. Don't try to predict when it's not necessary. Try to analyze where your team CC will go and then use W EQ combo safely on that target. Missing uh, ultimate, may, maybe mistiming it in some context and wasting, wasting flashes out of that. Not, not uh, waiting enough for the flash, not waiting enough for the dash, for the blink. That's another mistake. And I'm not sure if there is anything else. And these are the most stuff, but yeah, I think this is about everything that is Tutulia mistakes. There are some positioning mistakes that players do as well, and maybe some Q mistakes because players don't know how to press Q properly to get them into a line. Maybe some worked ground mistakes. So this these are kind of entire lots of mistakes that could be done but yeah this was the game guys i really hope you enjoyed it like leave a like share subscribe and see you next time guys goodbye